Hi, and welcome to this section of the Pre-Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to tackle the topic of what we call exponents in algebra. Uh, you also might hear them referred to as powers. So the title of the section is Powers and Exponents. So up to this point in our journey to study pre-algebra, we've learned some very, very important things. We've learned about the concept between negative and positive numbers. And so now we're going to begin to get, I think, a little bit more into the realm what that you might actually associate with pre-algebra or an algebra class. And that is, a lot of times students open a book and they'll see a bunch of stuff on the page. Of course, the variables x and y a lot of times confuse people. We've sort of broken down those barriers a little bit already so far. And the exponents a lot of times scare people because it's something different that you really haven't had to deal with in your basic math. It's something that looks a little different. You've got a little number up there raised a little bit higher. What does that really mean? And so a lot of students just try to memorize rules to get by without really understanding what they are. And I promise you, if you just understand what an exponent is, it's not a big deal. It's going to be something that's going to be very easy. And once you can master that, then moving along into the other topics is going to be so much easier. So let's talk about powers and exponents. The number one thing to remember is the term power, when you raise something to the power of 2 or to the power of 5, uh, is exactly the same thing as when we talk about an exponent. They're, they're, not, they're not different from one another. So some books you might see them refer to uh, raising something to the power of 3 or to the power of x or something like that, raising to a power of. And some other place in the book you might see it written as uh, the exponent 2 or the exponent 5. Well, the word power and exponent really for the purpose of this class are really interchangeable things. And so we're going to treat it that way. So power and exponent is the same thing. So what, what is an exponent? What is a power when you raise something to a power? The short answer is uh, exp uh, writing an exponent is a short way of multiplying things together. Okay, when they're multiplied by itself. So it's just like back when you learned how to multiply numbers, you were taught multiplication is a shortcut for addition. You know, 5 times 4 is 20. That's a short way of adding up a bunch of stuff, right? Well, when you have a number multiplied by itself a whole bunch of times, it's actually faster and easier to write it as an exponent. So writing it as an exponent is just a shortcut for multiplication, much like multiplication is a shortcut for, you know, addition. So it's a very simple thing. Now let's talk about it and let's find out what this exponent stuff really is. If I have the number 3, let's say, and I'm going to raise number 3 to a power or to an exponent, same thing, of 2, right? So I write it as 3 squared. That's how you write this because anything with a power of 2 we call it squared. Uh, but you know you could just you could just say 3 raised to the power of 2 couple of quick definitions that you might be asked on your tests, not something that you use every day in your algebra calculations, but this bottom number, the bigger number here, is called the base. The reason it's called the base is because it's the bottom number, and also it'll make a little bit more sense when we write it out why it's called the base. This top number here is just exactly what we talked about a minute ago. This is called the exponent. So the only reason I'm even telling you this is because on your test you might see things like you know, where, what is the exponent in this problem? Or, you know, identify the base in this problem. Or, if two numbers have the same base, then what do you, what's going on here? So you're going to need to know what these terms are, but in your everyday calculations, you're going to get so used to dealing with these things that you're not going to really have to mem memorize this too often. Now, what does this mean when you say 3 raised to the power of 2? It's very simple. What it means is, literally for this problem, it means 3 times 3. And, and that's it, folks. I mean, that is the definition of an exponent by way of an example. You see, if I have 3 and I multiply,